It's, it's so many people like they're like, man, fuck COVID. It's like, and then how many other people like it was a blessing in disguise. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. To find For something sure. like a passion. Like look at you. Like you said, three years later now we're yeah we're talking about you going onto the world stage for something yeah. that you just happened to because you tore a peck in something that you were passionate yep. and you were following. So um, yeah. yeah, you never you never know when those doors are gonna open. So that's fucking crazy. It really. Was. What is going on, everybody? You are listening to the Built for War podcast. I am your host, Austin Trotter, accompanied by my co-host, Mr. Michael Music. What's up, Street Freaks? How are you guys doing today? Nice. 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 All okay. right. <laughs> Good. Well, <clears throat> for those of you that are on the YouTube, we appreciate all of your guys' mm-hmm. likes, uh, subscribes, yeah, sure. all of the comments that have been coming in. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're just inching that much more yeah. towards our uh, goal of getting monetized, so we really appreciate the uh, the activity. The activity, I like that word. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're climbing the mountain. We're trying. So uh, keep it up. Keep showing the love, the hate. I don't care. I love all of it. So um, <laughs> just uh, just show activity. So yeah. But yeah. today, today we ain't gonna do sponsors. No. Well, we will. It's we will. Just There'll be a be clip later, later on. on. Okay. Um, because we have a special guest on the studio today, okay. on the studio, not in it. No. Uh, Mike, why don't you go ahead and introduce Ooh, him? Ooh, okay. I'll let you take <laughs> this one. So today on the Bill Forward podcast, we got uh, Chase McGee. Um, this young man right here is the uh, OSG Southwest Regionals winner. And uh, so we wanted to have him on the podcast. We had a great time when we were out there. And uh, super cool dude. And now that he's training for OSG, uh, just want to talk to the man. So... Mr. McGee, how are you, brother? Pretty good, man. Uh, just ended a session, a training session, uh, coming up on an hour, an hour ago. So oh, feeling nice. pretty decent. Good. Yeah. Body hasn't hit rigor mortis yet. As soon as you get up out of that chair after this podcast, <laughs> yeah. you're fucked. It's going to be rough towards the end for sure. It's going to be rough towards the end. Hell yeah, man. Well, I appreciate you. Yeah, uh, feeling great. Good, man. I appreciate you joining in. And uh, yeah, absolutely. want to just tell the... The world, the fucking world right now. Who are you? The fucking where, world. Where are you from? Uh, you know, just <laughs> shout us out. Yeah, who, yeah, who for sure. You? We are worldwide, uh, just to let you know. <laughs> heck yeah, hell yeah. Uh, no, so uh, I'm Chase McGee. Uh, it, it, the H is weird. Um, oh, it's, it's not McGee. Like, it's McGee. Yeah, McGee. My bad, yeah. dude. I, I oh, just, yeah, fine, by the man. way it, you read it, it's like yeah. McGee. He. No, it is, and it's spelled all that way. I'm a, So I'm a, a, a science teacher in Belton right now, and so my kids... They murder it. They'll murder it for the years, man, yeah. for the whole year going through. So right now I'm called like Mr. McGiggles or like <laughs> yeah. Mr. Like McGee on purpose and stuff. And they're like, can I just call you that? And I'm like, no, like, can can I just call you like, like turd or like a just random name? And they're like, no, I'm like, okay, then call me, you know? Uh, so, but yeah, it, it's definitely spelled. It's all, it's straight. It's Scottish. They, they throw G's all in there all the okay. time. So okay. And H's random H's, but, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I'm actually from I'm from Mound, Texas, which is I like to throw that out there because uh, no one knows where it's at. Yeah, uh, I'm from a population of like 300, so, <laughs> which has been my uh, that's kind of been my my uh, motivation going into OSG is like dude. 300 people in my town and getting to go on the world stage here, you know, in a few short months. So it's kind of been exciting. Sick. But Dude, when you yeah, go man. home, they probably throw you a parade in the entire town, huh? Dude, it's it would like be a really houses. short one. So. It would be a really short one. There's no stoplights. We got we got a we got a post office. I think that in Texas that's what qualifies they don't as the even, town. They don't even have a police department. It's just, Call the no, sheriff. Not, even a little bit. No. It's just two no, dudes sitting no. on a tractor with a gun. It's exactly how it goes, man. I'm really? the dudes on the tractor. That's oh, so yeah. hell. <laughs> we can tell by the mustache. Yeah, so yeah. that's a. But no, I'm I'm out of there now. I li- I like I said I live in Belton. We yeah. I moved out to the city to kind of uh, you know get get work and, and, right, and stuff right. in a small town. But um, but that that's just kind of I like to plug that in every now and then just because it is it's my roots, man. For and real, so for real, it, it's it's cool to to especially now being kind of where you and me now are at. And I don't yeah. know much about you, Austin, but in the in the sports world where we're at now, it's kind of cool to come from somewhere small like that dude for real yeah for real right. i mean him and i come from literally the same exact city yeah town thing. our yeah. town yeah it's uh so, it's grown yeah. now like 
Yeah. Originally, it was smaller, Took. not 300. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Colorado is uh, just terrible about that, anyways. It's yeah, but, constantly growing. Dude. So, and uh, so where are you located at now? So, Belton, it is, uh, it's the midway point on I 35 between Austin and Dallas. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So it is. It's along the highway. It's a little bit of both. A li- it's it's literally. I think we're an hour and a half from Austin, an hour and a half from Dallas. So we're right on that path. Oh, okay. Oh, that's um, good. Deal. You. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So it's, if you want to go it, raise hell in the stockyards, it's not that long of a yeah, drive. Or if you want to go out that to far of a drive. Good. Good. Get okay. some get some live concerts in Austin. It's it's pretty easy. Pretty quick, yeah. pretty quick trip. Okay. Fuck but, yeah. So a uh, little bit more about you. How long have you been doing a uh, strongman for kind of what got you into the sport of strongman? Yeah. So I am, I'm, I'm not super old. I'm, I'm 28, but I have a, uh, a strength, I guess, history. I've been doing uh, strength sports for about 15 years now, more than oh, half okay. my life. Oh, sure. Uh, okay. I've been, I did powerlifting for, uh, since it was allowed in school. So I did powerlifting all throughout, uh, middle school to high school. Um, and I ended up, I did, did well in high school. I, I won state and set uh, the state record and stuff in high school for powerlifting and then went to college and powerlifted and, uh, kind of got to where it semi got boring. Yeah. You know, you got three, yeah. you got three lifts, Dude, for real. you're doing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> and Fuck. there's, there's like, you know, we, we talk in strongman about all the federations and stuff. Like you got USS and you got strongman Corbin. And now right. you got OSG and all these one-off places, but you know, powerlifting so much more. Yeah. Everybody oh. has a federation. Everybody has something. You go set a state record in one and it's a hundred pounds less than in the <laughs> other state. And so, and in the other federation and it's, it's a wow. lot. So okay. I did well, uh, but it just, it ended up getting kind of boring and I wanted to try like a new hobby. Right. Right. <laughs> and that's yeah. how it started. That's, that's exactly how it started is I saw so I had a pec tear um, trying to push towards the, the 400 ish mark on bench back okay. when I was like 20, my early 20s. Okay. And I was like, you know, maybe I need to stop bench pressing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. after after that. Uh, and I was like, OK, what do I want to do? And so uh, got into trying I just figure out what I, I was an athlete. I wanted to do something. Right. Um, and so got into strongman during the, the pandemic in 2020 or so. Yeah. The um, amount of people you know, that we've yeah. heard where, that from. Where everyone bro. does. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny where how many does. people is like, I didn't get started in Strongman until the yep. pandemic. And then I just started yeah. lifting random shit around my house. And <laughs> right. all of a sudden it that's was the, like, I'm actually kind of good at this. Yeah. That's where it starts, man. You you lose your access to freaking barbells and crap. And you're like, what do I got around here? I got rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's exactly where what it was too is uh, that I, I lost access to my gym. And I was like, man, what am I going to do? Mm-hmm. And so I kind of like, well, I got rocks. This is what I have. I have, I have stones. I live out in the country. We got plenty of rocks. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was always fascinated with it a little bit because of my, I do have uh, Scottish ancestry. Okay. Uh, we are, we got a clan um, that's over in Scotland. That was a part of it. I have a tart and I have a kilt and everything. Um, hence my, my, my Instagram name. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and uh, so the the stones are a big thing for Scotland. There's a big stone series, you know, absolutely. the Denny's. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah. Everything Manhood with that. Stones, and so, yeah. yeah. So I was like, I, I'm not a throwing athlete. I can't throw crap. Right. So I, I'm never going to be a heavy. I'm never going to be able to do the Highland Games mm. um, as much as I'd want to. So I thought, well, what, what's next? And so I was like, I'm going to pick up some rocks. Yeah. And <laughs> kind of just got addicted. <laughs> yeah. Kind of got addicted to it, man. Absolutely. And, and then I, I went to my first comp uh, 2021-ish. I went to the Ronnie, which was a, oh, dude. The Ronnie was the Ronnie Coleman Classic was like a, a a hell of a first comp to enter in. Really? Um, yeah, that was oh man, I think it was the tail end of 2020, okay. right before 2021 maybe. Okay. And uh, it actually the official uh, classic got canceled, okay. and so it was it was still the Ronnie, but it wasn't the Expo like it has been before. Oh okay. Um, okay. But I, I entered it and I talked to the guy I'd never done strongman. I was like, Hey man, I see you got a novice class. I didn't know what novice was. Mm. I was like, D- I've done string sports forever. What do you think I should do? And he was like, dude, enter open. I was <sighs> like, okay, cool. You know, I, okay. I entered, it was two, it was two twenty or, or something like that. 200, I think. Okay. And so I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And so I went and did it. The fucking stones, man. <laughs> Let me tell you about these stones, the stone run. I was sitting there talking to, I got buddies and I was like, Hey man, like, what do you think? the first stone's going to be his mystery. Yeah, right. He's like, he, I was like, I was like, I imagine it's like 220, 240. It's a local show, something like that. First yeah. stone. 
it, it'll start there it'll probably end around 3 15 or something mm-hmm. i'm like cool so i got me a good stone and i was like all right i, got, I made a, a 225 stone and i was right. practicing getting that over bar and i was like let's do it I'm, i feel great right. i get to the first show and they're like first stone's 275 <laughs> oh, and i was shit. like wait what Oh. I was like, dude, I'm f- I'm five six, man. Uh, two seventy five to that first platform is rough. Dude. And <laughs> it was insane. And so, I mean, if you look at OSG for our weight right now, we're two. I think our first stone's two fifty, and it ends at three fifty or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's two fifty. I, I think to like three seventy five. Yeah, three seventy five. Yeah, yeah. And so I was like, golly. Oh, dude. Uh, they, yeah. yeah, yeah. I I so I ended up doing okay. Um, they combined weight classes in that one, but they didn't combine uh, placing. So I ended up getting second. And I was like, oh, shoot, like this is, I, I like this. This is cool. Yeah. Um, and then that kind of sparked it. And then my wife was pissed because she was like, you can't ever half ass do anything. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, like, Hell yeah. now I got to go. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Hell yeah. But yeah, that's been about, been in Strongman for about, you know, I think it's coming up on my third full year or yeah, something yeah. like that. Okay. So well, shit, it's, damn. it's been a ride. Man was You're right yeah that's amazing it okay. really was and so yeah. like by the sounds of it <clears throat> excuse me uh, i'm pretty sure that was her out there yelling and screaming but your wife and your family is <laughs> yeah. super like behind yeah. you and like let's fuck yeah. go yeah it, it's been crazy uh i said this one was you know I, my whole family showed up it was dallas yeah. so they're like we can make it to that oh um, yeah um and so I had, I was rolling deep, dude. I had like my grandparents, like my sisters, <laughs> uh, like my brother-in-law, my, everybody was there. That's um, how, that's how I am for nationals, <laughs> yeah. USS nationals. Yeah. Cause it's in Denver this year. Oh, yeah. I was like, I've got to get my ticket and invite <laughs> all of my family because they actually yeah. will show up to yeah. this one. Not oh. the one right. out in New Hampshire. So, right. <laughs> yeah. That's, and that's how it was for this one, man. Like I said, it's, it's been rough because on it, my coach is Hannah, uh, cold iron. Oh, okay. I'm from Oklahoma. Yeah. And so I do a lot of her shows and that's a good five ish hour drive for us. Damn. And so, uh, the family's not really able to go to a lot of those just for like a local right. comp. Absolutely. Um, so I was just, you know, it's been cool to be able to, to get them to come hang out and everything like that. So it was neat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Especially on a, on a show as big as like an OSG regionals qualifier. Like right. that's, even though it's still kind of in the realm of a local show, right? S- somewhat, it still is leading into obviously, yeah. As you both know, the world yeah. world stage, like yeah. it doesn't really right. get for for nineties and one hundred fives. It does not really get yeah. any bigger than OSG. Yeah. No, no. I mean, you got now. You have. I mean, you have right, different there's avenues. A, you got yeah. PSL. You know, yeah. and you got yeah. like chaos, World Ultimate and, Strongman and, and yeah. Chaos. But the thing is, is they're not, there's not one that's more. They're kind of all at the top. Absolutely. They're right. all like, you know, they're all that world, le- world level. Yeah. They're kind of like that pro level. Right. To where, In like, our it, class. Right. Yeah. Right. You know that yeah. if you're going exactly. up against somebody there, there's not going to be somebody zeroing every single event right. at right. the world final. Right. 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 Uh, well, and, and that's. That's kind of where it's at, man. I mean, have you seen our standings? We got like forty-three people in there now. Dude, already, yeah. And so, <laughs> oh, it's insane. And so, <laughs> it, it's one of those things that like forty-three. But here's the deal, man. Like you, you get last at, at OSG, and now you're 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 still like the forty-third like strongest person in the world at, in that year. The forty-third strongest yeah. person, you know, it's true. for 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 that. You know, for OSG, obviously there's outliers like the people. You know, there's a couple of guys that are going to PSL instead of OSG. Absolutely, absolutely. so they're not there. Yeah, but that's you're, 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 that is always the it, one thing that I love saying is like whenever I place at nationals, whatever I place at nationals at that one right. point, <laughs> that's how strong right. I am compared to everybody else. Because <laughs> right, I mean, in a certain oh. roundabout way, the people who may be stronger than me didn't compete at you that one, there. so right. it doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> they're, they're, I mean. Not not knocking anyone because I'm sure there's people, but they're not there, right? Yeah, you know, they're not there. Dude, that one. I mean, it's like and yeah, it's yeah. Cir- circumstances. It's like I understand, like you know, but they weren't there, so who knows? Yeah, you know right, I mean? right. So yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. <laughs> they weren't there. They didn't compete. But, yeah, but I was. Right, and I got money right. over. Exactly. Yeah, I get that. I get that. <laughs> you gotta get. You gotta give me something, Dude, man. Uh, like yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, even if it's for that fucking two days of the Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> Monday, right. of being God. number one world strongest ninety or one hundred five kg, I'm taking it for those two days. Oh, even, even if it's right. not one hundred percent true. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. That's yeah. funny. Yep. Well, that's good. Cool. Okay. Yep. And uh, so, what do you do? Full time. Uh, what do you do as uh, a career? So I'm a 
I'm a. Are we saying the career? Yeah, like what's your job title? Because I doubt you're yeah. full time. So I'm a. I'm a science teacher. Um, I, I teach middle school science. I'm a seventh grade. Uh, well, I say that it's really weird. Uh, I've been teaching seventh grade, but uh, we have star test, which is kind of like our state standard testing and stuff oh, okay. like that. Okay. Um, we just had some weird mix ups, and so they're like, "Hey, you're a seasoned teacher. You would you mind uh, switching over to eighth grade to help our our scores out?" Huh? And I was like, I mean, sure, that's fine. You know, yeah. I don't mind. We, 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 they needed some help with that. So I'm now an eighth grade uh, <laughs> science teacher oh, as of, <laughs> as of uh, Monday. But nope. I've taught I taught eighth grade for for three years or so. Seventh grade for us is life science. So like all the cool fun yeah. like dissections and things like yeah. that. Oh, sick. Eighth grade, eighth grade's physics, and so it's like. Yeah. It's right. kind of math, kind of boring yeah, for me. Yeah, that's I'm like, boring shit. You know, there's yeah. definitely but a lot is, of algorithms that go into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's that. It's Newton's laws. It's moon phases and stuff, and it's just not as fun for for oh, me I and I, really for them. Oh, I believe but, that. Uh, but, yeah, but I'm in a transition pay, uh, phase right now. I'm actually, uh, <laughs> if anyone watches this from my from anywhere, uh, newsflash. I am moving out of teaching. I'm trying to go. Uh, into physical therapy oh nice um, okay so uh my undergrad initially was uh pt and i kind of got scared out of it because when they when you hit the pt program they're like hey uh you know everybody in here is an athlete you want mm -hmm. to work with athletes but you're probably just going to work with old people oh, and i was okay. like whoa like that's not what yeah, i want to do so not, i kind of yeah. right and so I was like, yeah, that's not what I want to do. And so I got scared out of things. I went to a different bunch of different stuff. I tried a bunch of different majors. I actually ended up majoring in criminal justice oh, and then that's worked through with, yeah. That's like worked super with, uh, fucking end yeah, of the spectrum. So. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and worked through with that and then wanted to, uh, you know, I was like, you know, I, I'm not really feeling this. I'm going to go teach. And it has been great. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to change. And now I'm in a realm with people who break their bodies all the time. Sick. And so I'm like, hey, well, I have a little bit of a route now. Dude, to, you're learning you know, all the time too. Just right, through your experiences right. of through your hobbies and stuff. Yeah. Like being around it right. constantly, right? And yeah. Dealing it with yourself and your own training. And yeah, well, yeah. Like, and then understand it. Yeah. That's and that's the PT aspect for me is like, man, like I know I know five people who have torn biceps right now. Mm. I bet they need a physical therapist. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely, dude. You know, so that's kind of my, my thing is, is, is that, and also for a coaching aspect, I really enjoy coaching okay. and I feel like learning the body, learning, you uh, know, the way these things move and stuff is yeah. it's huge. Uh, uh, something to offer. I have a, a really good uh, chiropractor yeah. friend who's into, he's a, a big powerlifting guy. Mm -hmm. um, I say big, he's like a 175, but he deadlifts as much as me. Oh, um, <laughs> so he's strong, Yeah, but, uh, his stuff is the same way. And that's kind of what got me into it is like, I want to come through this with a knowledge of the body type approach to therapy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that was kind of, that's, that's the transition that I'm getting back into starting school in August, next August. So it's yeah, going to be crazy dude. and hectic. I yeah. like that. I like that. Yeah. I, I see the Pampers. Are those for you on deadlift days? Oh, or? Yeah, man. You know how it goes. <laughs> uh, th them bags. Hey, this is a, a plug for freaking odd objects. Shit proof shorts, man. You got to get them shit proof shorts. Shit -proof if y'all watch the classic from the 90s, did y'all yeah. watch that? Uh-uh. Uh -uh. No. Oh, no. dude. Uh, freaking guys carrying the bags. Like, that's a 300-pound bag, and it was max distance like ours. Oh, yeah. That Husafel, right? That yeah. big old fucking Husafel. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And okay. so it, it ended up causing one of the dudes to, uh, to kind of – let it go and no so shit. They, they hopped they're good buddies man both of the guys are good buddies and but instantly hopped on a, a picture and was like odd object shit proof shorts Sick. <laughs> and so hilarious. it was their sponsor okay. but no my, uh my daughter charlotte man um she's uh she's two or about to be two if if my if her mom my wife finds out i'm saying she's two yet she'll probably murder me Keep the she's snake not two. in the corner she's trying not to attack yeah that, that's bill that's bill man that's uh, bill. That, bill, that, that's bill that's bill nye bill. since uh, you're vegas a science bill. guy vegas. hey that's smart that's a double i, I like that yeah <laughs> i didn't thought of it that way okay that's clever no pegas he's a trans pegos rat snake so his name is pegas bill i like that and yeah so he's he's kind of he, I think he's probably the oldest member of the family. He'd been here before me and my wife, and then obviously before me and my baby. So oh, wow. that's cool. Yeah. Hell yeah! He, the coolest pet, man. They don't. Uh, they don't require you to like do anything. They don't. You know, poop <laughs> on the floor. Or yeah. Chew up, just, chew up, yeah. Yeah. None of that stuff. And they're happy they just under their their yeah, heat lamp, exactly. getting their getting their mice. 
Exactly. That's hilarious. But a little yep. bit more about your daughter. So she's almost two. Almost two. She'll be two in December. So uh, she turned uh, two, like two weeks after OSG. Oh, okay. how cool! So, nice. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Hell yeah! So she she's excited to finally. I, I hope she's excited to get to go on a plane. I was just uh, ass, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Has she been on a but plane she, yet? No, man. No, she she barely just got okay with vehicles, like cars in general. Like, oh really? Oh. Yeah, she hated the car seat. She hated all that good stuff. So she was she was not a traveling baby, which has yeah. made it hard for competitions. But yeah, for sure. she's she's loving it now. Um, she she got uh, fun stuff that we do in the car. I like to sing songs. She likes to every now and then we do the screen time where we watch a TV show or something mm. like that. We try to limit it though, but oh, yeah. it, it helps. Whenever you're on a four hour trip, you got to do uh, what you got to do sometimes. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I grew up in the back seat with my yep. little portable DVD player that. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I watched it on the trip, and then after that, it went right. in the bag, and it never came back out until yeah. we were done on the yep. way back home. So, yep, yeah. But she's been loving it, man. She's she's really it's cool to see her in the environment now. Because so I have a picture of her, and I was showing my wife um, some technique of how I change things on circus stuff. But I'm sitting here showing my presses and stuff, and I look over, and my daughter's just like like this, like straight oh, up in hell here. Yeah. And I'm like, yes, like this is the coolest thing ever. Sick. So she was sitting there watching that stuff and she, she's in the gym with us now. And, yeah, so uh, it, it's been, it's been really cool. And so her at OSG, she's, she's clapping and stuff. I missed a, a PR the other day and it was funny. Cause I was like dumpster to hit a freaking circus. No, it hit me in the head. Like, blah. And she goes, yay. And I was like, yep. <laughs> yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're seeing stars and she's over there cheering for it. Yeah. She loved it, man. She was like, you know, she's having a blast. She thought I got it. And I was like, yep, that's, thank yeah. you. That's hilarious. <laughs> I can't wait for that, man. That's going to be so exciting. Yeah. Dude, it's cool. Best thing ever. It's it's hard, but it's the best thing ever. Having a kid is uh, definitely like the, the biggest accomplishment that I've ever had for sure. It's just, yeah. it's one of those exciting things. Like, I don't know. I'm a stay at home dad now, more or less. Like that's I only awesome. work like three days a week. So I get yeah. to just be around him all day. And it's so funny going right. through like, his different stages of growing up. I mean, he's only a little over three months right now, but yeah. Uh, congratulations. That's cool. Yeah. Thank you. That, that's so awesome. Yeah. That is a, that's a fun, uh, hard stage. That's it's different for every baby, man. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Yep. He's been, uh, he's been sleeping through the night and really oh, it's yes. not, it's not <laughs> super terrible. He's been a really easy yeah. baby. So yeah. I'm I'm assuming that his toddler phase is going to be fucking chaos because normally they yeah. say if he's a great infant he's going to be a shitty toddler yeah. but we'll see. Listen, this is uh this is my my advice from a, a a not too much farther along than you dad so don't listen to everything I say. Everyone <laughs> says everyone says shit man and it's just kind of different. And yeah. it I mean are are are, uh, are y'all both married? don't know i uh, i'm or, married he's married yeah okay yeah okay so it's the same thing that you get i'm sure you heard this everyone always has these really pessimistic like advice tips or like just oh, wait dude. fuck just wait till the five year. Oh, i can't God, stand just wait till shit. the seven year yeah, just wait yeah. for this i'm like man like why do you gotta say it like that like absolutely you know I, it's you know, a, sure, sure it gets hard but it's a different kind of hard like it's not <laughs> you know, Dude, yeah, it's not I mean, bad. It, it's genuinely like one of the most frustrating things as a new parent is hearing all mm -hmm. of those like, Dude. oh, just wait. You're I'm sure you're yeah. not getting any sleep at night. I'm sure this is right. fucking terrible for you. It's like, no, man, man, it's really not bad. Like, no, the first and, 11 days were bad because we were in right. the NICU with him. Yeah. Like, right. He ended up tearing holes in his lungs and we had to stay while mm -hmm. he had a tube down his throat. Like, yeah. that was tough. Right. Yeah, but it also sure. gave me a different out out view on or outlook on his crying. Like his crying doesn't right. bother me because for the first eight days we couldn't hear him cry because his vocal cords were stretched around that tube going down his throat. Right. It's like, right. and it's also just a different point of view of just like I I enjoy being around my baby. Mm. He's gonna do baby right. things. He's gonna do baby kid things. things. <laughs> like. Yep. It comes with the fucking territory. Like if I didn't, yeah. if I didn't want any of that, I wouldn't have had a baby. Right. For sure. No, and people get hung up on it. I think because there, there is stages that are hard. Yeah. You know? absolutely. But it's like, it's not like, like you're saying, like I got into this knowing it was going to be hard. 
You know what I mean? Dude. Like, and I get that some people don't get into it at all with the anticipation of, you know, trying to get into it. Yeah. I mean, but, some people don't exactly plan their pregnancies a hundred percent right. all the way through. Right. But, and, but that's the thing you got at some point you got to man up and woman up and say, Hey, like this happened. Yeah. Okay. You know, and, and I got to be responsible for this now. And it's the coolest thing, dude. Like, like my marriage is freaking awesome. Like, does my wife hate me some days? Like most days? Sure. Bro, we're guys. <laughs> but, we're, unfortunately, right. we're guys and yeah. yeah, we do dumb shit that they can't understand. But all right. three of us here in the room, we yeah. understand. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. But, but it's still, it's still the best thing ever, man. Like I wouldn't trade it for the world. I w- you know, I wouldn't know what the heck to do without my wife telling me half the shit that like, <laughs> I, I left the other day to go to the gym and she's like, did you bring your shoes? And I'm like, shit, like I'm walking out here with slides on, man. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm like, yeah, thanks. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, it, yeah. it, it, it is it's nice. the best thing in the world. And it is nice kids, to have man, a same. woman to keep us in chat Absolutely, for sure. <laughs> dude. No, I'm stupid, dude. Yeah. I'm so stupid. It, oh, it yeah. is, it is, it is helpful. And oh, the yeah. kids stuff, same, same thing, man. The kids are great. Like you, like you said, your kid, I, when, when Charlotte was, was that young she was she was awesome um it was hard sleep wise because she i took night shifts so mom could sleep and so i did night feedings and i just stayed awake because i took paternity leave um, oh, okay and Sick. i'm a teacher so we set we save up days yeah um so you your days roll over so i had like 20 some odd days that i could have Sick. and i used them and so i took off the time and i just stayed up and but the cool part is she was a little baby and she just sat here and i played video Boom, games chilling. Like she sat here right here and we were chill I played, I think I like binged through the Witcher or binged through like Elden Ring or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and so I was just sitting there playing like this and we, we, I put the controller down. We'd sit there and we'd rock and we'd play whenever she was hungry. And then yeah. that's just how it went. Yeah. That's, so, that's honestly how it is on a daily yeah, basis for me. Yeah. 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 yeah he it is so funny just to, he just literally sits right here in my lap and, yep. uh, yeah, normally I'm, I'm, playing rocket league fucking yeah, oh, that game. Heck yeah. yeah oh dude rocket league <laughs> dude i was and rocket the, league is stressful to me the only reason why i like it so much is because i am actually pretty good at it yeah, so yeah, yeah. i'm glad see no I, people understand that now that's the only reason i enjoy certain video games because i'm good at it and it's like no i can't play this i suck yeah Sorry. oh dude yeah Feel like that. uh but, i got a, i was on a really big like destiny kick for a while ooh, yeah and then uh, I started not being so good at it, and uh, I strayed yep. away from it's it. Nice and got fun. more back into yep. like my yeah. car. I love car games. Like right. I've I've played and beat all of the Need for Speeds. Like that's my <sighs> yeah. shit. Yeah, that's the old school stuff. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. So how is it? Obviously, I know, but for the viewers at home, how is it juggling the dad life, the career life, and the husband life? While also trying to juggle the strongman side of life in there, yeah, uh, yeah. because you're not you're not just a local competitor, right? You are a right. competitor that actually you're an athlete. Like yeah. it, right. it is what it is. You are 100 percent an athlete. You're going to um, the the world finals, the OSG world yeah. finals. Yeah. Um, so what does that look like for you, man? It's it's rough. So. It's, 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 it's really great. It takes a lot of sacrifice, um, from my wife. She's really been the rock through a lot of it. Um, usually it, it looks different than, you know, a lot of athletes I see a lot of athletes competing, uh, you know, three or four times a year or something like that. And usually I get one good show a year oh, Okay. where it's like, I get to compete one time a year where I'm able to dedicate some time and actually prep for a show. Right, right. Um, and so like OSG Southwest was, was heavy, man. Like that's yeah. the heaviest show that any of us has really ever done almost yeah and you know it was like i competed osg southwest last year and it was tenfold heavier tenfold worse um and uh this year you know what i'm saying like Mm -hmm. that we competed this year and so my wife took this big toll of like i'm training you know a nice 12 week block and she really is holding down the fort like i'm training during the summer thankfully so i didn't have work um and so I was able to take, you know, these two hour chunks and, and be gone for, you know, a little bit of time, but, uh, now I'm teaching. So I'm coming home, you know, I get teachers get off earlier uh, a okay. little bit. So I get off at like four. And so coming home and juggling, okay. I feel like garbage cause I just got out of eight hours of work, yep. but do I work out right now and get that out of the way so I can help with bedtime or so I can help with dinner or whatever, or do I give it a little bit? 
help with dinner, help with downtime and playing with, with Charlotte and then go work out and miss bedtime and go miss like some like nighttime routine with my wife and hang out. So it's this big juggle. And one of the things that I've stood by for a long time is like, I'm okay being in the place and then I'm at OSG. Like I know I'm going to OSG and I'm going to fight for like, I'm going to fight for day three. Absolutely. I'm not going to podium. Facts. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm I really, and truthfully, if, I, if I'm being really honest, like I'm not going for really top 10. Right. Like I'm going to try my hardest and get there. And, and I feel like a good se- scenario, good setup. I could, right. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, but I'm, I'm, I'm always going to be a better father. I'm always going to be a better husband. Absolutely. I'm really, and truthfully, always going to be a better friend than I am a strong man. Like, if if a buddy, that's the thing for me is if a buddy's like, hey man, do you? I really we haven't seen each other in a minute. Can we hang out today? And I got a training you session. Got a training it's session? like, yeah, for sure. I feel for that. sure, man. Like, uh, like yeah. for sure. Like, this is this is something that is supposed to be a hobby for me, and and I have other you know other underlying stuff. Like I have a Bible study on Wednesdays, and that cuts into things. Mm-hmm. And and I try to make my church on Sundays, and so like I'm cutting out two days out of the week that is like down i can't do anything on those days right yep. and so now i'm cutting that five days a week and then it's like if i want a rest day and any of that like i'm lifting four times a week <laughs> and so it's it's it, it's a juggle man yeah, um, yeah. and and we we're I, I've, I've said this to a lot of people too it's like we're, we're in a really narcissistic sport strength street oh. sports are narcissistic by by nature absolutely yeah. you know what i mean absolutely. you're looking at like bodybuilding, CrossFit, powerlifting, it's really all about you. Absolutely. There's not a team aspect to nope. it. And so I try to balance that by keeping a level head and saying like, look, man, like this is my team. This is my support system. I want to be there for them more than I am for this. Absolutely. And so I've been really thankful to have good people uh, in my corner that have allowed me to like get the time that I need to lift and, and get the time that I need to even still be a human. Cause I still need downtime every now and then my wife, my wife Absolutely. understands that, like, you know, and so it's, it's really been a her show. She's really the superstar behind all of it. Yeah. Um, right. I just lift heavy. I just lift heavy weights. You know what Hell I mean? Yeah. Right. And, and, but it, it's a different thing. It's kind of like what you were saying um, about like the world class. Like we were, we were at Bible study the other day and we were talking about how, we could connect a little bit better with our families and, you know, trying to figure out like, where do we fit in time to read scripture? Where do we fit in time to right. do, uh, you know, the, these spiritual disciplines, what we're talking about spiritual disciplines. And I was like, and the, one of the the couples said, Hey, you know, we, we come home from work and we put our phones down for two hours. Mm-hmm. And my wife just kind of looks down and she's like, man, like, like I'm kind of jealous of that. Right. And that hurt. I was just like, Holy crap, man. Right, yeah. Right, and, right. and, and so I talked to her and I was like, you know, like, Hey, like that really hurt. Like, how can I fix that? Uh-huh. And she's like, I didn't mean it as a dig. It was more like a, you're training for like the super bowl of strength sports. Like they don't understand that you have to do what you got to do to get this done. Uh-huh. And so it's just a sacrifice we have to make, but we both decided we're going to make it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so it was, it was just like, I was like, crap, but it, it, it it's, it's, that's what it is, man. You know what I mean? Well, like, and I, I find a lot of people don't quite understand that when, right. because with my life, it is very, very chaotic. Like it's hard for me to right. take my son to the gym. My gym thankfully allows it just because he's right. in a car seat. He's not running around fucking shit up, but uh, a lot of people don't understand. Like it is really hard for me to get any kind of balance whatsoever. I mean, I'm a double yeah. time small business owner. Uh, right. you know, I have a family. That's awesome. I, you know, I also, I'm very involved with the church. So right. it definitely has been a lot of sacrifice from my wife and my side of the family as well, because if it wasn't for that, if it was kind of a 50 50 break i wouldn't have time to go train let alone compete right absolutely and she's you know on the days that i'm working or whatever she takes him and does everything with him like no questions asked like there and there's not a fight at the end of the day of stating like right well i wish you could help out more like granted now it makes more sense because i am home four days a week with him but at the same time like people expect this perfect life balance and i don't think anybody at my level or your level or his level will ever understand that there's, there's never going to be a balance. Never. Right. It's yeah, definitely a give sure. and take. 100%. Yeah. 
And I think uh, just listening to all that, and it's so true, is that uh, I think the biggest bullshit is self-made. It's like you are fucking yeah. nothing <laughs> right. without yeah. the people right. in your corner. Or if you yeah. are, then like you, you're getting on. And that's right. like what we preach on this podcast is like, you know, you're a human being before you're an athlete, you're human, you know what I yeah. mean? You're a father, you're this and these longevity things. And it's like, but people that are so like, I don't know them, but you know, people that are going for the worlds right now and they're training number one motherfucker. Like right. don't even give a shit. Like old school right. Arnold. They call right. up and this is my dad's fucking funeral and I can't because I'm training. It's like, motherfucker, like, you know, I got mad respect yeah. for you as an athlete, but as a human being, I, th- I kind of lost some right. respect for you, my friend. Yeah. Um, so I love yeah. that. Yeah, that's good shit. Good. Yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear that. That's, yeah, that's, that's what it, that, you know, in the end, that's kind of how, how, how it's been. And that's, you know, that's a lot of things too. Like, I mean, Mike, we talked a little bit about this. Like I'm, I'm five, six, I'm a pretty short athlete. I Same. should probably be like an 80 guy. Oh, I should probably get my diet together. I should probably do a lot of stuff, <laughs> but it's like, me and my wife talked and I was like, Hey man, like, are we going to get like, like we're real serious about this? Like last year when I, I, last year at OSG Southwest, I made fourth. So I missed the spot by one. Oh, but okay. I competed against Kraus and I competed against, yeah. uh, uh, Peters, uh, you know, Kraus is a freaking big yeah. dude. Oh, and yeah. Peters made top 10 last year. And so yeah. I was like, yeah, okay, cool. I'm glad I got fourth to those guys. Absolutely. So I missed it by then. And we had that conversation of like, Hey, what do we do? Do we, are we getting serious about this? Like, what's the deal? She's like, well, you know, we'll see where it goes. And I was like, okay, like seriousness is me cutting to eighties. And I was like, how does that look? Like, that's a diet change that I'm not ready for. That's Absolutely. a diet change. Like, a, a different type of, of mentality that I'm not really ready for. I'm going to be grumpy and, and all this different stuff because I haven't weighed 175 since high school. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so, uh, it's like, yeah. obviously, that's not what you, the walk around weight, but still, like, 185 is something. But, yeah, you got to be able to cut to that, yeah. Right. And Even so, then, like, just the, the water g- cut alone are, is fucking – it's so miserable, especially on yeah. the family or anybody that's around right. you. Which is crazy. So I don't I, – I have never done a water cut. I was going to um, ask you, uh, what, yeah. where, where, where do you walk around at? Like, So my normal walk around weight – right now I'm lighter than I was for Southwest. Okay. I'm, I'm having a hard time getting weight back because mm-hmm. I – did a a nice taper down diet before this yeah um, and so my body's just still kind of like hey man like we don't we're not hungry right now right and i'm I like no that. dude we gotta eat man i do, <laughs> like, I, do. I feel that yeah and it's it's we've it's still september man and it still gets in the hundreds here in texas and so like competing i i like you were saying for the kids sake i i pulled out of my ho- uh, local gym and started competing uh, lifting in my house so i have a full garage gym with oh, all my equipment go. i get that yeah and so it's hot as all freaking balls in there and so that's been another hard thing for keeping weight on but i walk around like right now i'm walking around like straight up like 200 um, oh okay which is hot garbage uh for where i want to be um (laughs) for southwest i was walking around i got up my highest i got up was 212 okay um and i did before i started my like carb cut i got Mm. to like 206 208 okay nice um and that's about where i walk around is like 205 206 okay um somewhere around there okay. that's what i'm comfortable with i do 206 I, I i i can peak up to like 207 the week before i cut off carbs and i do like a little 16 hour fast maybe yeah, yeah. and just <laughs> don't eat dinner the night before and oh. i get to weigh in and i'm okay yeah see and, that's good and that's yeah. really it right and yeah. if you're still gaining strength and you're still yeah. pr- progressing as an athlete it's like yeah then why change it if you're comfortable right, right. You, can, you can maintain right. this yeah but like you said if like you end up changing yeah uh and wanting to be in well, that's what the southwest that's, thing was is i saw i needed to gain some mass man yeah. like i was like okay i'm i'm peaking a little bit with the strength here with mm. you know especially like farmers farmers was heavy oh. uh deadlift was heavy yeah for me for me yeah. i have a really i mean how much got, was your guys farmers handles 250 Two, uh no 290 285 a hand 285 yeah Two, yeah that's pretty yeah. that's a pretty fucking decent farm fat backs too you gotta well, deadlift them up fucking too, three so times it's, and it's then run it three deadlifts down back <laughs> three and deadlifts so, and know, run back yeah uh and so that you know that's and and the deadlift for me i'm a really bad deadlifter i hit in this training with the first ever 600 deadlift i've ever done so can you pull it in the block. show too any so, pull any yeah. yeah and i pulled it in the show and that yeah. was really cool but that that was where i was like hey i i gotta get back to being kind of heavy like i gotta get up there that that 212 215 mark yeah and yeah i wanted to be closer to that now like to get back up maybe 210 or something but i'm just having 
It takes know, a minute to get the, the body to, yeah, to takes start a second. revving. Like, yeah, I, I right. totally get that because that's where I was always hanging out. And then when yeah. I tried to do the exact opposite, I went up to 105s because I was like, now nah, I can. Right. I, like, I was like, but I need yeah. to put away. I mean, I tried for like a year straight to hold like five extra pounds. Like, if I could get it, right. it could lose it in two seconds. And then I yeah. find, like, so it just takes time. But like, oh, yeah. Uh, but, I feel like our bodies and our metabolism are very similar. So it's like <laughs> right. to a, to a degree, it's going to take you some time to really get that weight on. But if you're going to yeah. decide to cut down, maybe you should start working your weight. Yeah. Down. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's where it's at right now. Yeah. We're over what? 11 ish weeks. out, uh -huh. And, and so it's like, 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 <laughs> nah, dude, I'm not getting the two twelve. Like it's not happening in this comp. I'm like, Right. That's if you scary. can hold it on some good days, like, you know, hold a bloat yeah. for a few good days and yeah. feel a little fuller to get you through a deadlift session and shit like that. Absolutely. Right. right? But you know, yep. in a few days you're going to come back down and when you get back yeah. into normal. So, um, yeah, I do get that. So, okay. Yep. But you know, it, it's just kind of one of those things for, for me is to walk. I, I like the less stress. I don't oh. like the water cuts. It makes me nervous. So oh, I'm a, I'm a big mental guy whenever it comes to my comps. Yep. So yeah. if I'm like, I was stressing it uh, two weeks out, weighing two hundred six. No I was shit. Messaging, messaging, messaging Hannah, and I'm like, "Hey, like, what the, oh, what's dude, going on? Like, <laughs> are, are we okay? Are we good? Are we good? Like, what's what's wrong? Like, I, I'm I'm stressed. I'm kind of nervous." She's dude. like, "Just chill the fuck out, dude. No, yeah. Like, you're fine." That's hilarious. And then <laughs> I'm over here just raw uh -huh. dogging thirty pound water just cuts. Fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've I've heard, oh, man. Dude. I've heard the, the the stories of the pros, like the oh. the water cut gods. Dude, and I'm just like, no, I'm, man, I'm, not me. <laughs> dude, I'm honestly, for some reason, I'm trying to not be one of those guys anymore. Mm -hmm. I cut, I cut right. 32 pounds in 24 hours once. Dude, fuck. That. And, uh, dude, I was a skeleton walking into that fucking yeah. place, and then I still missed weight by three fucking pounds. Yeah, I remember. <sighs> yeah, that's yeah. rough. And it was yeah. for a local that's show. Rough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, that's that's crazy. That's so, rough. I uh, I definitely tuned up the diet a little bit now i know yeah i normally sit around 230 but here recently i did that water cut same fucking thing i've been walking around at like 215 to 220 for some yeah. reason yeah i just can't put on more weight and i'm eating more since i'm a stay-at-home dad right. now like right. i'm yeah. eating more and more frequently but i think that may just be keeping me in an anabolic state and Absolutely. i just keep fucking burning through yep. shit yep yeah, uh, my training sessions I are feel sick. That. <laughs> well, right, and, and, I mean. and and that's the thing. The, the thing, man, is you know, and especially with us, is strength isn't always correlated to mass. Ooh, you know wow. what I mean? And Excellent. and so that's kind of like uh, today felt really great. And I I think I weighed in belt shoes and everything at two hundred six. Oh, so I was okay. like belt shoes, belt shoes, uh, elbow sleeve, and I was like what the fuck okay <laughs> like am i am i training like 199 right now and it, is, <laughs> and it was the best uh i did yoke press today it was the best yoke press has been see um, sick. and so i was like you know whatever it's fine yeah so, yeah i mean and like you said we'll then see you how the stress for oh the, yeah you know what i mean for and, that and honestly cut? that's kind of a thing too is like yeah no not not a not a me thing so i, I i've torn about it how do i you know do i do I go up pretty high or, or, or stick around that 205, 206 mark right. and just see how it goes? And that's, you know, we got, let's see, 21, we got freaking months. Oh, like, dude. Like I said, it's 11, it's 11 weeks. So around that eight-week mark, if I'm if I'm at 200 still, yeah. then it's going to be like, we're going to get a 205. That's going to be the goal. Yeah. But if I'm if I'm at 205 at 11 weeks, I'm like, we can push a smidge. You know what I mean? Oh, so. absolutely. It is what it is, really. Well, and no yeah. need for a water <laughs> cut for you. I mean, if it isn't broke, don't don't right. fix it. You know, dude, absolutely. Obviously, right. something is working yeah. really well for it's, you. It, so, right, especially at this the first one, the first OSG. Like we're the the goal is just to get there and to have a lot of fun and really just like like put some pressure on some people in some certain events. Like I, I really hope to put some pressure on people for my presses. Absolutely. Um, I Absolutely. really hope to put some pressure on people on that frame carry. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I'm going to put any pressure on anybody on deadlift. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that, <laughs> that deadlift is heavy. Dude. Um, stupid. And then, you know, it's, it's sad, it, but it is suited. And I, I, you know, yeah. I, I like the suit. Uh, I feel like I can get some good numbers with that, but 
the uh and then the go ruck challenge like god dude i don't feel like dying dude it, it's exciting <laughs> like i'm pumped for it but i'm gonna i'm gonna oh, it's gonna, I'm gonna die we're gonna die yeah. we yeah. thought that max max distance carry was was rough like no this is no. gonna be this is gonna kill everyone and i'm excited for it <laughs> same yeah absolutely have you ever done but, a uh multiple yeah. day competition before no this will be my first same. one um okay. i was uh yeah, I was gonna be in Strong Corp, Strong Corp Nationals in October. I qualified, um, and then I was looking at money and looking at placing and stuff. And literally, uh, Southwest popped up right when I was about to sign up for Strong Corp, and I was like, "No, nah, I can't do two big shows like that." Absolutely. And I was like, "And I don't know the like we we don't have a pro card in anything." So I was like, "What's really the point of doing Strong Corp Nationals or or any of these national shows for just clout?" you know, basically for getting top, whatever in the nation, but yeah, whenever absolutely. I could go yeah, and absolutely. do something and, and put in full training for worlds. And so we pulled that off the roster. Um, cause that was going to be, I think a two day show. If I remember correctly for yeah, Strongman Corp nationals, I, I think yeah. it's three, one day, two, one, the second. Yeah. yeah. So that was going to be my first two day or two multiple day shows. And this one, <laughs> I got family coming out and I was like, guys, you know, I want to be lifting for like a minute total, right? Absolutely. Like every day. Yeah. yeah, like you, like you're coming out for you're coming out to watch me lift for for, two, for sixty seconds. Literally two for, minutes. Uh, in two a day. minutes. Yeah, yeah. two You'll minutes. Be out there twelve two hours and I lift two minutes. And uh, yeah, yeah. And so they're like, "We want to go at your first one." And I'm like, "Hey, the, I I appreciate the shit out of it." Absolutely. But it's good. I'm, but I'm here's, pumped, here's a like, forewarning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of pumped though. Like you know, thinking about I don't have to do five events and one day that's gonna be awesome, dude. Right? Like, like I feel that as like as an older gentleman, um, like to me, <laughs> like other guys, like, you know, they say, uh, they're like, man, it's hard for me to like chill and then get warmed up again. It's like my old ass, yeah. like, dude, I can totally go oh, take man. a nap and go eat and, uh, then come yeah. back and rev it back up here in a few hours. Like, cause you have right. five, I get it. Like, cause I've done fast shows where you do like five events yeah. in like two hours. It is really nice, but if you don't, tr you know, they are nice. Um, yeah. but, uh, I don't know. To me, like, yeah, because uh, I don't remember who we were talking to. It was at the Southwest Regional, and that, that's where they were, like, talking about. They're like, man, yeah. this is going to fucking kind of suck. Like, you might not live for, like, seven hours. And I was like, that's that's great. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, dude. dude. Well, that's, that's, that's something. So what are you talking about? Yeah. That's something for me is I've always said it, and it goes two ways with warm-ups and, and with long shows. It's like, I took work off for this, man. Like, dude. take as long as you need, as long as I'm safe. Yeah, like yeah. a lot of promoters, I, I'm all for not having a 12 hour show, right? I get that, dude. Uh, but uh, a lot of promoters push these fast comps, like, hey, we're getting going, like, I know you're warm, we're going, let's go. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. hey, man, like, chill out. I paid you money, I took off work for this, dude. Like, don't I'm I'm here, like, don't make me fucking get hurt or something, uh, uh, yeah, because you want to get out of here by lunchtime, like, that's shitty, right? Um, yeah, right. The, the two uh, hour shows for me is it, that's way too fast, like, that's yeah. way too right. much. We yeah. our show, we want to have it done in like five hours. I right. think that's like a yeah, very is, good, like, an that's hour a fast every show, still. It's still yeah. fast, like, you know, you're yeah, still yeah but I mean, still, it's like an hour per, but event, you by the time so you're way. actually lifting from one point to the next, yeah. Like, yeah, and you're kind of staying warm because right. you get done with one event, you go chill, maybe have a snack, and then you start slowly warming up for the next well, event. Yeah, and then you don't get to fast. May, yeah, fast maybe like a, a not a not a derogatory term. I'm saying like that's efficient. Like that's an efficient right. show. Getting a five, yeah, a five yeah. event show in five hours. That's awesome. Like yeah. I would I would yeah. love a show like that. Absolutely. You know, it's it's not like a like a day long twelve hour show, but Dude, if you're no. feeling oh, okay about it. God, I've been. What was that? Turn a, oh my God. The Turn Tournament of the Titans, Titans, the very, oh very first one. Dude. Dude, that was... Uh, Literally like a 14-hour day. Yeah. Like we showed up at like 7. We I, didn't leave that motherfucker until like 7.30. Him God. and I were not competing. We weren't even competing. And I was exhausted. <laughs> I couldn't even... Like our boy was. And we were just helping him being handlers uh, and yeah. shit. Oh, right. my God. I was so done by the end of the day. Oh, I was man. Like, oh, man. I was like, yeah, I, I would have hated yeah. to compete in this one. Oh my god! Like <laughs> yeah. that's just too much, yeah. you know. Right. Um, but I do, I do. I'm with you. I enjoy the downtime and some of it. I can chill. I'm, I am such a nervous lifter. Like, okay, I watched y'all's podcast about OSG, and I was sitting mm. there wa watching your breakdown of circus dumbbell. Yeah. And I was like, dude, no one understands how mother freaking nervous I was for the stupid circus dumbbell <laughs> because I literally, like, I got shouted out on our sponsor page. I, I got shouted out to people like Oklahoma. Uh, 
the homeless people were like, man, what the fuck oh. is Chase doing for the circus dumbbell? And I'm like, all right, cool. I got to get six. I got to get motherfucking six. And I go bop, bop, and then I one. And I was like, fuck, what, what? <laughs> this, hold on, what? And I, I, I missed the rep, and it took so much energy. And so, like, after that, like, you know, my nerves were gone. Mm. But that first that first uh, event, nerves, like, crushed oh, me God. So I'm, I'm notorious for – yeah, I'm the toys for getting a beer in the middle of the competition. Um, yeah, oh, like to absolutely. chill. Because yeah, I'm, right. I'm, you I'm, can. I'm running anxious on a lot of. Yeah, but this one was a lot of the heavy carries at the end. So like, I can't be. I can't. I can't drink at the <laughs> wobbling around and having. Dude, right freaking... away. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, do dude, I do that's... it to calm it? But like, man, that's, I, no, I'm that's good. such a good way to fucking puke. Oh, oh. Dude. yeah, dude, no way. Especially on them sandbags. Like, yeah. No. Oh no, fucking <laughs> way, way, dude. No this, way. My, this is my first show. Like even in Southwood last year, I got a beer, and I got, got a beer right before, uh, right after uh, the Iron Cross. And I was like, I'll throw up, and I was good. And <laughs> nice. I was like, I need, a, I need a beer. I'm, I'm, I need a beer. I'm. It was it was rough. That's so, funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so then that brings me into my number. So I've got three more questions to ask you. The first one being, what is your favorite event slash lift for strongman? Ooh, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. To to compete against it is probably axle press or circus dumbbell circus dumbbell has been one of my like i found out that i'm good at it absolutely, absolutely. um uh but i loved axle like i i feel i want a max axle to, axle to come back you know strongman falls trends absolutely. right now everyone's doing circus dumbbell yep um just a few uh a few months ago everyone was doing log like that was what yep. the press was yep. um Actually, uh, it's it was coming a, back. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's so I'm ready. So now yeah. 24. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. yeah. Uh, USS is 2024. No, 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 no. Isn't it no. an yeah. axle press? No, it's a uh, circus dumbbell. It is circus dumbbell. Okay, yeah. we haven't gotten there yet. It's, <laughs> it's a circus dumbbell for reps. <laughs> it's right. We haven't gotten there yet. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for an axle to come back. I'm, I want to see what I can you know, push on that. So really any press. Uh, Pressing. Except for block press. I'm finding out that block press is shitty. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a different just thing. It's just a shitty fucking press. Yeah. It, it, it hurts, man. Um, uh, but I really like I really like you know a good axle circus. I like log too because a lot of people hate log. Mm -hmm. um, Feel that. But and I'm, I'm decent. I'm decent at it. I figured out how to split jerk a log, and that's been really Sick. game changing. Yeah. Sick. Um, yeah. So I like it. But really and truthfully, training wise, I really enjoy deadlifts and squats. I really like you know a good deadlift. I I love yeah. deadlift. It just I suck at it, and so it's yeah. like. You know, I finally hit that 600 mark, and I'm like, yes. And then 90 guys are deadlifting like close to seven, oh, I know, or man. if not more. Yeah. And I'm like, well, you know. Yeah, that's... I think I think Kraus with a suit on's busting down 800. Yeah, he pulled 815. Oh yeah, he 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 yeah. just hit 815. Yeah. For, we sponsored uh, our sponsor sponsors Kraus now too. Oh okay. Um, so he just hit 815 like like yeah. nothing, man. I mean, yeah, you know. And you got uh uh. Oh gosh, he just won the world. He just got the world record. I, I'm oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Name. He pulled like 400 kilos. He pulled like 881. Yeah, uh, I think it's the new 881. Um, I, I can't. I'm real. I know his name because I've been watching his that reel over and over again. Yeah, his yeah. Instagram's Fortitude Strength. Yeah. Um, uh, he just pulled 881, and then they at Chaos they were pulling 666 or 661 yeah. for like 12, yeah. 11. Yeah, it's like crazy numbers. So. Know. You know, it, it is what it is. I'm happy with the milestone and I love it. But like right. squats, like I love squats, man. That's 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 the old power lifter in me. Yeah. I would love to do some squats. I think I'm I think if I were to peak for a squat, which never woke up to the strong man, I'm probably a seven hundred pound squatter. No shit. So I would love to like wow, okay. I would love to freaking okay. to get somewhere like that. Okay. Dude, hell yeah. I mean, a good squad it's, events it, are always cool to see. Fuck yeah, oh, it'd be yeah. awesome, man. Right. Uh right. we had uh if you ever get a chance. Um, go check out some of the footage from Circus of Strength in okay. Lawton, Oklahoma. Okay. Um, before Dishonor, I can't, I can't see it. I don't know if y'all know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that my, my coach is, uh, Hannah, her boyfriend, Jared, uh, White. He's big here in the South for, for, uh, strength branding. Okay. Um, okay. their, their brand debt for Dishonor puts on a lot of stuff, but they put on a freaking OG circus show inside of a circus. Sick. The day before it was the circus, it was it was awesome. Oh, that's fucking um, dope. That is cool. And so that's the dope. squat, 
the squat, it's on my page. Um, if you go on my Instagram, it was whiskey barrel squats. Sick. And so at the end of the this like almost like mammoth bar looking squat was these giant whiskey barrels, like Donkey Kong whiskey barrels. And the whole thing was just like wobbling like crazy. And I think our weight was like four, four or five, four hundred. Okay. And this you walked out and you just see people and they're just shaking, dude, because yeah. it's so wobbly. Yeah. And that was the first squat event I've done in Strongman. I think I I got fifteen with Sick. that one Fuck yeah. Sick. and in in 60 seconds or something like that nice and it, it was just everything because you're sitting there like this whole whip because these things are just way out yeah. on the edges and it was it was cool it was a cool event to, to look at it was kind of like fantastical and oh absolutely uh, like it's a skeptical strength like, you know? oh yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely yeah it's a sick looking thing it yeah. is Fucking yeah. cool. everything in that show was really cool they painted everything all circus like and like we had a zerker carries and on the end of the zerkers with these like uh americana like keg painted things it was neat man it was a cool show that is, that is cool, cool. Uh, i like that yeah so then that brings me into my second what is your least favorite good god any front carry dude yeah. <laughs> any freaking front carry man uh that's that freaking uh uh sandbag carry from max distance about broke me bro i'm I impressed threw up so many times at comp i'm impressed that you were able to get your hands through were you were you were you actually fingers yeah together? i actually got were it were you um, god i dude, couldn't so do it, that it, <laughs> dude it was it was a it was it was literally a training technique that it was like i have to i, I practiced it i had to get it in, up in my lap and it was uh-huh. literally like get my hands and, I had to in squeeze the right and regrip. Okay. And so it was literally like a, a thing that I had to train, but here's the deal, man. Like I'm training. So, uh, there's a plug to my Insta, uh, Insta list friend, Alan, he's about to do his first strongman comp. Same. He's a U90 guy and he, he's been weighing like 175 or something. Oh, and shit. we were training with a 265 bag for mm. our prep and he's smoking my ass, dude. He's getting like, 200 220 on the regular Fuck. and i'm sitting here and i think in comp or in in training i i barely broke 150 okay. a couple times All right and i was sitting there watching people like like shoe and oh, uh, and and uh brett and and jake yeah they're and I'm watching these dudes flying. and i'm like are you doing like 200 like just for reps right Dude, now like 200 they feet? did it like, so easily on? bro oh and so i'm sitting here like i'm about to die like I, my goal is to not get left Dude. Yes, man. And so uh, I had a good day. Uh, last minute adjustment. I hate last minute adjustments, but my coach was like, put a soft or put your double, like double belt, but put your hard belt over the top and just let it loose and let the bag sit on it. Yep. Yep. And I was like, what? Yeah. That's smart as hell. Like, that's so all. And I, I think that that was a, a little bit of a game changer. Plus, you know, competition. Oh, you absolutely. Know, you always get revved up and being on the there. spot and everything. And, else. and 190 was. Uh, a freaking 40 50 foot pr for me um, and so it was it was insane and then uh osg last year was a yoke to iron cross at the similar way Ew. 250 for the iron cross and i like i <laughs> training in this it was i'm really comfortable now with the with the sandbag like i got the sandbag 265 to shoulder is easy good. like i'm i feel good and strong like my stones are coming back good. so the strength was always there i could hit 120 20 in like less than 30 seconds it was great okay. with the 265 bag super yeah. strong but dude i gassed i, I couldn't breathe <laughs> couldn't that. breathe to save my life <laughs> Me neither. my lungs were just like man you gotta stop like, <laughs> and, and that was the same thing back yeah. in the last southwest was i had that the iron cross and i was like the only dude who didn't finish it and i just got through i got third place on the press with cam and and uh, a couple others dudes that were like top tier and I, I did well in the press. And then I got to this, uh, yoke iron cross yeah. the yoke was like six seventy five to, uh, two fifty iron cross. And I smoked the yoke and I get over this iron cross. I didn't finish. Yeah. I'm the only person that didn't finish uh, and I'm, I'm picking it up and I'm walking and I can pick it and I'm good. And then it just drops. And I was like, I can't breathe, man. I don't know what the fuck to do. Uh-huh. So front carries, man. I, I, I hate them. Can't stand them. Um, it's it's the death of me. This uh, go ruck challenge about to kick it's my ass, suck. but I'm excited for it. You know, I, I, I like training weaknesses, but God, <laughs> absolutely. I'm glad it's not max distance, so yeah. that's gonna be good. Yeah, there's a there's a light at the end of the tunnel. 
Like, yeah, if you can get right. there, if you can get there, if you can get there. there. So. I mean, there is either way because if you do it max distance, you're going. You're gonna until die, you hit and you're going to the anyways. light anyway. Yeah, just going keep walking. <laughs> I've, I've I've saw the tunnel, man. I, a couple times, I threw I threw up multiple times. I freaking uh, th- this is in front of the world. I, I, same shit happened to me with uh, one of the dude from uh, Chaos. I shit my pants and training on the freaking uh, the holds. I was just doing sixty second time frames uh-huh. um, uh, for reps. Or for sets and same stuff, sandbag. I'm like, dude, treat you like a tube of toothpaste. Dude. You start it off real high, the sandbag, and it just rolls down. And you're like, dude. well, I, I gotta go. Is so that like, one is done? Is that one minuscule adjustment that somehow yeah. just opens yep. up one thing, and then all of a it's sudden, gone. It, yeah, it is well, what it is at and that point. It is what it is, you know. But I, I hate hate front carries. Can't stand yeah. them. My arms are short. I got little. I got press yeah, arms. Little T Rex so. arms. Feel that. Feel yep. That. Feel that. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah. <It's fucking laughs> knuckle draggers over here. I was gonna say I got right. really, really long yeah. arms. So stones are their hands yeah. down my favorite. Just because heck yeah. I can wrap around a twenty two inch stone like it's nobody's <laughs> business. Awesome. Yeah. Um and then the third and final question. Do you rather love to win or hate to lose? Oof. Oh that's that's philosophical. Yeah, it takes yeah. some time. You're good. Steep. Steve, yes. I ask SD. everybody. Everybody on this show has been asked this question. Yeah. Uh, I really think I hate losing. That's that's kind of what it is. Is When I got into strongman or into sports in general, it was never like the goal was to never be the best. It was never like I want to be the number one and whatever. It was always like I don't want to be average or I don't want to be status quo. Um, and then when I got into strongman, it was, well, even if I, like, if I lose, I'll learn. And then I don't want to lose again. I don't want to get last again. I don't want to be the worst in, in any of this stuff. And so I think that is like, well, if I don't like losing, this guy can't beat me. And it was like, oh, this guy can't beat me. And so it eventually pushed to where I had a semi-successful career in strongman of being podium finishes and things like that. But I don't think it was ever the love of winning but gold is cool. <laughs> uh, you know, so like uh, the nice gift cards that come with some of the yeah, prizes is fun. Nice. Dude, it's <laughs> never a bad day on podium, at least. It's never a bad day. It's never a bad day. That was uh, uh, Southwest after that press went south. Fuck you, Mike. I um, uh, <laughs> so? After that day, my, my wife and my family was like, he got to fucking like go because if he doesn't, like we're never going to hear the end of this <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's but yeah i think i think losing is is hate hate losing more than i love winning for mm-hmm. sure yeah yeah i feel that yeah. I, I think uh i'm definitely on the same more or less just kind of boundary lines with that just because uh yeah winning is great but losing really fucking yeah. sucks yeah yeah and, and you know it's one of those th- like like Man, Mike, I'm sure you know this right now. Like we're going to, we're going to get humbled, man. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm at a, I'm, I'm at this mental place where uh, I've started picking up some of these these weights, and yeah. the, the difference is there. Like oh, absolutely, it. You know what I mean? I'm picking up these weights, and I'm like, I'm really pumped that like I'm able to do this. Right. But then I go and I watch people, and I'm like, whoa, I'm not able to do that. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we're, and I'm in you know I I, I feel I feel happy that I'm, I'm I'm humbled and proud to be a part of the world stage, but Absolutely. it's like that's that, those top ten guys are they're they're cream of the crop man they're, yeah and it's Absolutely. cool to be with, there with them and I hope to I hope to push them on some things like especially this press I hope to to push them on the press I hope to push them on the carries mm-hmm. I like I like the farmers and the frames and stuff like that, but uh you know that that that's just. There's a there's a difference right now, oh, and 100%. I'm I'm cool with not being in that in that yet, but mm-hmm. uh, at the same time I'm I'm excited to be a part of it. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. It's gonna be a fucking good time. It's gonna oh, it's gonna be crazy, so, man. Yeah, so excited, <laughs> so excited. I know. I'm I'm actually fucking truly bummed out because I uh, I have a client that is doing a bodybuilding competition in uh, uh, yeah, Albuquerque. Yeah. 
on the same exact weekend. So yeah. I'm going to yeah. be in Albuquerque while you guys are in yeah. all yeah. Virginia. Yeah. So. Well, oh, God, man. And then the plane tickets are expensive. Yep. The show is expensive. This Good. is the first time I I was like 285. Like, okay, like That's it's so going to be much. high quality stuff. I get right, it. right. And then and then I got hit with the hotel and I was like, whoa. Did you book your up. hotel? Not yet. We're, guys, we're supposed to book flights and hotels today. It's that 75 day mark. Apparently, there's some weird number. Oh, my really? Brother-in-law, I haven't a, done the fucking. My, brother, my brother in law is a financial aid guy. He okay. does. Uh, he does tax breaks and, and things like that for startup companies. Um, um, I don't know what his actual title is, but uh, he was like, hey, you got to – because he uh, is ex-military and he flies now all over the place and stuff. And he's like, this is the window, like 75 days out from a flight, prices go up. And I was like, shit. Oh, so today's the 75th day and prices went up three bucks and i was like fuck he's right oh, <laughs> so we gotta we gotta order uh i gotta order plane tickets here pretty soon and get stuff booked yeah so, same same trying to figure all that out it's Dude, insane it's gonna right? cost so yeah, fucking right. much yeah i'm just waiting but, to fill the credit card so i can max that bitch out and then like we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll figure it out <laughs> I'll, exactly. I'll pay it when i get back <laughs> well I, I goof too my sponsor pays for they they pay for like three shows a Sick. year um and uh you already the, spent the three out, shows yeah <laughs> it's already gone my <laughs> budget's gone <laughs> uh shout out will song's opinions in case anyone else is trying yeah, I was gonna to say man other, yeah shout cool, out your uh podcast stuff man they're awesome yeah um, but uh they they pay for you know three of my shows and so i i didn't know and i'm sure like like michael tell you uh southwest wasn't on the radar this year for like until like last minute yep um yep. and i know Derek pretty well uh, and everyone was asking like, Hey man, like are you doing Southwest? And he mm. was kind of like, I don't know. And then he got, it, I'm, 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 I'm not speaking for him cause I don't really know, but I assume from what I saw is he got a cool opportunity to do the expo. Yeah. Um, and kind of was like, yeah, like we're doing it all. Okay. And it was so cool. And he did such a great job. Absolutely. Um, best promoter in Texas, by the way, if you're ever in a Texas show, like Derek Owens puts on the best shows yeah, in Texas. Uh, Zach. Um, for now, I got, I got a guy who I'm working with, who I'm the judge for. Uh, the guy's named Frank, and I'm trying to get a bunch of dudes to sign up for his show. And we're gonna try to take over the world in Central Texas at least. Wow. His promotions and stuff. He's putting on some badass shows right now. But Derek still got, you know, he got it on lock, man. He he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. So very efficient. Yeah, Zach uh, that yeah, was so- out at SG <laughs> with me. Excuse you. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Excuse <laughs> me. Sorry. Excuse you. I'm talking. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. Bless you. Uh, um. said the, the, the sneeze like stop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, Why don't you shut the fuck up? We're having a podcast here. Um, yeah, he oh, did uh, Texas Legends last year. And he, yeah. yeah so when oh, we were yeah, going yeah. out there, he was like, oh, dude, this, he already knew the comp was going to go really yeah. smooth because he said it right. last year. He's like, dude, that was such a well put on show yeah. and then after seeing Derek in his you know in his his mode out there he's very like on yeah. top of everything which is no, good he's right on top of it. he's on top right. of fucking yeah. everything like he's not no, just like is. chilling in the back like just bullshitting and everything right. no he's fucking he, 90 he's, places at once he's Keep very on. he's very hands on man very. and that takes a lot out oh, of the fuck person yeah. like exhausting like, you know exhausting. I, I I I've been a part of something like that. I'm I'm a judge for a lot of different local shows, okay. and so I see these people and they come up and they're asking their partner like, "Hey, like, what is this?" And I'm like, "Dude, hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> just 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 compete. Yeah, like, yeah. ask someone else. Like, don't ask this person right here because this person is stressed. Yeah. Like, and so you know, I, I feel for the promoters and things because people come up like, "Hey, well, do you think about doing this or switching this up?" And I'm like, "Hey, man, why don't you just chill out? Right. Yeah. Like, uh, every- like this dude." The- <laughs> Every single time, like the the first show that we ever put on, I mm. preface the entire thing starting out. Oh, dude. If any of you come to me with a fucking video and your own personal timer, I'm going to instantly disqualify you from that fucking event. I was yeah. like, yeah. I trust what my judges say oh. and what my right. timer holders say. Nope. Period. Yeah. Like there's there's not going to be any fucking countbacks. There's not going to be any draw- drawbacks like you're going to compete if it was by a fucking millisecond, you should have tried harder. Like there yeah. is. Right. Like, For sure. It is For what sure. it is. At a local show, like, yeah, there's no, like, if it infuriates me when people walk up to you and you're like, where am I at? What am I doing? What is this? What is that? And it's like, bro, yeah. like, just chill. Like, yeah. just do your yeah. fucking best. That's yeah. all that matters. Oh, that was <laughs> that, the last uh, show I judged. There, the person was like, hey, are we going to, like, reorder after first event? And I was like, Dude, there's five of you. 
like in this weight class. Please, please, please sit down. Just go. Just go. Go. Just go. Just stop, man. Like this isn't this isn't world. There's five this isn't there. a qualifier. This isn't a this right. isn't even national qualifier right now, man. Like <laughs> really and truthfully, like the, the to be honest, the dude was in the novice class. And like if you oh, know that fun, things get reordered, dude. you should have been an open. Oh like, my god. Bro, if uh, you're like, asking those questions you're and you're a novice, you are a sandbag down. trophy chaser. Oh man. So it, it was one of those things I was like, man, just call down like we're oh. not we're not reordering and there was a there was a guy who was really nice and he was like hey he can like have my spot and i was like you nice yeah, individual yeah, good for yeah, you yeah i was man. like you're not you're not me right now no nope. but so it, well and that's the funny thing is like iron podium makes things very very oh, simple so nice. to reorder yeah. to know right. you go in you click the link you see the fucking scoreboard Dude. it's live updated as long as you have somebody input and scores into the system Right. Like people should not be asking those questions. Right. Like do right. your own fucking research before you go asking around. It's very, very simple. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But one hundred percent. Well, we've been at it for a hot minute here. Uh yeah. anybody you want to give shout outs to yeah, anything anywhere? Oh man. Uh my wife, uh, she don't have <laughs> anything, but shout out to that woman. She's uh one hundred percent my rock. Um, my sponsors, uh World Strongest Opinion, John and Darren, they're freaking amazing and helped me out through a lot of stuff and they believed me when i was really kind of a no one yeah. um and their mantra was like you know uh rising tides raise all ships Absolutely. kind of thing and they believed in me and now i'm getting to go and so hopefully i get bring some nice interaction clout towards them hell yeah um they've been great uh my coach hannah is freaking awesome she's about to go to strongman court nationals sick um She's been a dude like my first coach and only coach before that. I didn't have one before last year. I didn't have a coach in strongman. And so she's been a freaking game changer. Absolutely. Um, Deb before dishonor is my, my go-to, uh, I go through threads. So if you, if you want, they got to drop tomorrow. If you're trying to get some nice, uh, merch, go check them out. They got, they got some cool shit. You got an um, affiliate link or what? No, I don't. That was my uh, Jerry. If you're listening to this, Bro. you promised me. You promised me if I won, I got I I get you I get a link, but uh, a a ten percent or something. Yeah. Um, you got to tag him on it. <laughs> tag him on this. We're gonna blow yeah. him up. Yeah. 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 No, uh, that was, that was, it was funny. I was like, hey man, if I win this, you, you sponsor me. He's like, sure. And I was like, dope. And and I, I he was, I, I came back and I had it. And I, he was like, fuck. <laughs> it, sounded, it sounded like dude didn't have any faith in you. Yeah. No, he does. He, he's he's spo- dude. He sponsored. So they're sponsored. They sponsor. Uh, uh, I can't. I'm gonna murder his name. Um, from New Zealand. Uh, 2019 World Strongest Man. Uh, um, uh, uh Niger- Nigar- Nigar- Nigamaru. Nigamaru. Yeah. yeah Nigar- <laughs> whatever. <Well. laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, Whoa, uh that almost got really spicy hey that's how that's how it said man and then um they they sponsor uh or they sponsored okay. at one point nick nick meyer nikolai myers um, yeah. so they sponsored like the top tier people okay okay um, and so i was like yeah I'm, i wasn't yeah, expecting yeah. It. right right <laughs> yeah dude no i get no. it it was just it was it was just a joke but well, you, for, make uh, you make it to that well, third, yeah, third day. You make it to that third day. You better man. fucking you, expect third that. Third day, dude. I expect it, man. Absolutely. Oh, but uh, awesome. but yeah, that's that's really, man. Um, a lot of people in my corner. There's too many people to name to shout out. I I uh, have a chiropractor here that has been with oh, yeah. me since I tore my my erectors back in, a year ago, and he's 100 percent the reason I'm able to even deadlift right now. Sick. So that man, uh, Brian, Brian Forrest, Texas people. If you if you're in Austin, go there. Okay. That's really about it, man. I, I, just so many people, but yeah, those are those are the the main core. Those will get those get tagged on Instagram and my yeah. reel. That's who you see <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Speaking of Instagram, what is your handle? Kilt Man McGee. Um, it's about to be kilt season, so it's getting cooler down here in Texas. So yeah, now yeah. that I won't sweat through my wool uh, kilt, you'll you'll yeah. see me in a little bit more. Hopefully, okay. Fuck right. hey. love that. Yeah. Uh, final thoughts. What uh, what do you think? Uh, got anything you want to tell the people? Tell the world. Nah, man. Um, really excited to hopefully in a few months put on a show and 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 show people what Mountain Texas is for, man. Uh, yeah, that's that's really 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 it. If uh, final thought, if if you don't know Jesus, know him. Hell yeah, that's, that's love my, that. My last my last little plug, man. If you don't know Jesus, know him. Love so, it. I love it. Find out. Fuck yeah. Well, cool. If you want to hold on for a sec, we'll uh, wrap up and then uh, finish up with everything. But 
Guys, for those of you that are listening onto the Spotify, we also appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Uh, so if you good. guys want to check out any of our merch, go to www.builtforwarstrength.com. We are going to be updating the website here. Uh, if you are listening to this, to if you're listening to this, it's already been updated. Um, <clears throat> um, if you want to find me on the Instagram, it's going to be at Trotter the Trainer. Trotter if the you want to find Michael, he's going to be under Michael dot Lee dot Music. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you want to check in, make sure that you guys do check in to the Built for War Instagram page. Yep. It's at Built for War Strength. Um, we are going to be rolling in with the punches here for our December show. Getting um, so close. <laughs> yep. We, yeah. uh, of course, uh, the Built for War holiday special is going to be hosted by uh, Server of Strength. They are going to be providing us with a whole set of bags and two Cerberus Sick. deadlift bars. Yes. So if Oof. you guys want to come and compete make sure that you guys go to iron podium um the link will be in the bio for that yep. uh otherwise just go to ironpodium.com search for the built for war holiday special there is plenty of spots left Absolutely. um and the weights are going to be dropping a little bit we kind of did go a little crazy with the weights um and we understand that now we're using our criticisms <laughs> okay, we get it <laughs> but uh <laughs> Yeah, make sure that you guys go get signed up for this. Yeah. This will be a payout show. Every single open class will get paid, Yep. period. Everybody on podium will get money. So mm. if you're not signed up, go get signed up. Also, it's not going to be – the more people in the class, the more the payout's going to be. We're not just going to be putting in $200 every payout. So. No. Make sure that you guys get signed up, get everything ready to go because uh, and and get your friends involved as well. Absolutely. Um, like I said in the previous podcast, this was set up for a series qualifier. Um, this will be the Indian series. This will be the series final next year. So yeah. if you guys aren't signed up for this, this is like a beta test. We need everybody coming on. So. Um, other than that, make sure that you guys get signed up. Make sure you guys follow, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff to stay up to date. Uh, Mike, you got anything? That was so good. Yeah, I, I didn't <laughs> practice that. I don't know where that came from. That was, I mean, just not one missed fucking beat. Just boom, 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 boom. I know. <laughs> nice job. I appreciate it. Uh, well, do best. everything that that guy said. And uh, <laughs> um, as always, yeah, keep liking, subscribing, downloading. We appreciate it, guys. Love you. We do this for you. And, uh, yeah, check out Charlie the Trainer. Michael Lee, the music, and uh, Kilt McGee. McGee, not M McGee. McGee. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to do that. <laughs> oh, All man. right. Well, you guys uh, yep. do what you do. That's right. Stay strong. That's right. Love. Stay hard. Stay strong, guys. We'll see you guys next week. Heck yeah.